Welcome to the Arizona Wildcat Show, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with John Gold and Zach Rosenblatt. All three of us doing this today. We went out to practice on Wednesday, talked to Coach Rich Rodriguez and a handful of players. Johnny? Yeah, so some interesting stuff, uh, primarily about the Washington State loss uh, and where to look back on that. Um, I think everyone's pretty sure what went wrong, uh, the entire middle of the defense. And they owned up to it. Uh, but then I think a lot of the, the talk today was about moving forward and finding a way to get back to work when there's no downtime. Because, you know, Washington's right up on the schedule. There's, there's absolutely no bye weeks, and Arizona knows that. Right. We talked to players and coaches. Here's what they had to say. Is there anything you do, I know, with no bye week? Do you change your schedule in terms of taking it a little bit easier on them? Yeah, I have intentionally. You know, I mean, I looked at it quite a bit. And, and Sundays are usually this time of year light anyway, but uh, this Sunday was really nothing. Mm -hmm. And then Thursdays used to be kind of a light practice. Now it's more of a walkthrough. So we really cut a look back a little bit on Tuesday, Wednesday, but mostly Sundays and Thursdays. One of the first goals that, that we had when we got here was is to uh, – make it important and make more people care. I'm talking about in the program first. That was the first thing we had to do is mm -hmm. make it so they, everybody really, really cared. And I think they did, but not to the level that I thought. And it's gotten better mm -hmm. every year. And, and uh, my goal is for everybody associated with the program and everybody that follows the program really cares about uh, what we do. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about the psychology of the game. Mm -hmm. It almost had to be a psychology. How do you keep them from just – or keep them focused? Well, I think the way we do, our routine doesn't change much. You know, we still have a lot out there. I mean, what are we, five and three? But, you know, we still have a lot of goals we can achieve. But, you know, our, our routine, I think our players get used to a routine. If we had a bye week, we'd, we'd give them a little bit of change in that week. But, uh, shoot, you think about it, there's only six hard practices left in the regular season and four ball games. So, uh, I don't think it's that hard to get up for them. Yeah, yeah. Well, but part of the question may be a bit uh, good coaches, as I think you are, uh, you got to know when to hug them and know when to kick them. Yeah, back. there is. Well, there's always a little bit of good cop, bad cop going right, on. Right, and right. usually it's, it's interchanged between the staff. I'll, uh, you know, uh, I'll sometimes be the good cop. I'm probably more the bad cop sometimes. <laughs> but sometimes I'm a bad cop with, uh, with some humor. That usually helps. I think if you're always on them all the time and you don't laugh or you don't joke around a little bit, I, I think it can wear on you, and I think you have to. The good coaches have to coach their personality, but I also think they have to, you know, let them know that hey, this is not life and death. It's really, really important, but we got to have a little fun too. And that was kind of my message to them today at the practice. I mean, it's you know, the games we need to play the games. We work the practices, but we need to play the games. And having all these little giblets over here, you know, <laughs> running around and screaming, maybe they realize the joy of, of playing the game. Coach just said that he had talked to you guys a little bit about, you know, you work the practice, you play the games in terms of trying to have fun. Is it possible that, you know, that you guys have been a little tight the last couple of weeks just because of the way things have been going? Yeah, I think that we, you know, have, we're trying to win, you know, we're trying to do as much as we can, but I think that we're making it into more of a job instead of mm -hmm. playing the game. Mm -hmm. And just like we were, like when we were little kids playing the game, just letting it loose. I think that's what we need to get back to. Mm -hmm. um, just have fun while we're playing. I think that, that good stuff will happen with that. I know yeah. you're, you're a smart guy. Is there any thought to look at what this week means for the season and what the next month means? And is that healthy? It, it can be a big t turning point for sure. Yeah. Um, if we get this one, you know, we can go back in the next three weeks with a good chance to win all three. Right. You know, so I think it's one week at a time, though, and we just got to focus on this one for, uh, first. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.